God, look at all this nasty green slimy stuff that Link is standing in. It's like bile or something. Or isn't bile yellow? I don't know. Regardless, hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix. Welcome to episode 25 of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. A let's play. Okay. So, uh, now we're just gonna continue and not have a cliffhanger. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna. Sh ugh, I'm gonna terminate this cliffhanger for you, and we're gonna see what happens when we play. The song of healing. Yep, we're gonna send out our many hearts to Darmani the Third here, and oh my God, headache! What's the, what a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away into the song. Kind of like with us and when we were Deku Scrub, it's having the exact same kind of feeling. Well, what? Oh my god. Yay, Darmani! Yes! Great warrior! Oh, oh my god, this is such a heartfelt scene. I love this. Oh, he's so sad. Look at him. Uh, oh, there's Link. It's like, dude, you have to stop. You can't be here anymore. It's over. And just fades into stardust. Now his soul's at peace. All that remains is his face. I leave my undying feelings with you. The deeds I accomplished while living are, are, are carved on my grave. You should read it. We got the mask! Yay! You got the Goron mask. The mask contains the spirit of a proud Goron hero. Wear the mask with C to inhabit the body of a Goron. Press C again to return it to normal. For the Goron village, I have asked your assistance. Okay, so... Here is the Goron mask. Oh my god. Could could you believe it that we were going to get this a Goron mask this whole time? Look at this. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he has such a big mouth. What the hell? Oh, but yep, here's the Goron that you inhabit. The first time I saw this, I was like, what the hell is this thing? This is the most retarded looking Goron I've ever seen. And it still kind of is, just because of that stupid hat, but regardless, okay. Let's just check his grave like he asks us to. The Goron hero, Darmarni the Third, rest here. In honor of a great hero, this memorial is inscribed with the knowledge of a great hero. Will you read the knowledge imparted by the hero? Uh, I suppose, why not? Oh, chosen Goron hero, your power to lift objects with effort is mightier than the strength of any other. And your heart is strong, too, as it is filled with compassion that, ki that is kinder than any other. Goron heroes press A and control stick. So press A and control stick? Yeah, that's exactly what Goron heroes do, obviously. So that they may curl up and roll wherever they go may need to go. If Goron possesses magic power to roll swiftly enough, spikes will emerge from their bodies so that they may mow down their enemies. Water is, water is disastrous for Goron heroes, for they sink like stones since they're made of stones and are rendered motionless in the deep, dark abyss. Beware. Okay. Yeah, so here we can roll up into a ball and move around. Yep. There's Link. He's just like pressing, pressing A and moving the control stick. Look at him go. Just playing around. Uh, can I get a good shot of his face? <laughs> oh my god, that's the most hysterical thing ever. Look at that. What is what what the hell is it? It's like that's not a Goron. That's not a Goron. What are you, Link? Look at you. He's so chubby. So chubby cheeked. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh my god. That's so ridiculous. Okay, so there was another thing here I know. And we'll read techniques for battle. Powerful punch that Goron here is unleashed by pressing B is feared by all. By pressing, by repeatedly pressing B, Goron heroes will deal a barrage of punches. After using A to curl up, a Goron can jump with B and land with a quaking impact that is so mighty he can flatten enemies. Yep. So here's the Goron pound, basically a ground pound like in Mario. It's the closest thing you ever get. And here's the set of punches you can do. Boom! 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 Yeah. Okay, um, I believe you can also move this thing. Yeah, there you go. But only if you're a Goron. You have to be a Goron to move, be able to move this thing. And, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hot spring? That's, 
is the legendary hot spring, spoken of in legends. Just like that guy was talking about. Kind of. Okay. So you're gonna need an empty bottle here and we get some hot spring water. Yep. Use it with C before it cools. Okay. So we have to move quickly. And I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this hot spring water. Because there is one area that you're most probably gonna wanna get. So build up some traction. What the What? You know the great Darmani. Then just who then whose grave was I just making? Did you come back to life because it was so warm beneath your grave? Uh yeah. Uh, I could thought of that Goron that's right next to me, but you know what? We don't have time for that. So just build up your traction in the snow and launch yourself off. Yeah. If you don't build up enough traction to get like the spiky form, then uh then I don't believe you'll be able to make then you won't be able to What am I trying to say here? You'll land in the water at the bottom of the cliff instead of like being launched over it, basically. Okay, so we're just gonna take this hot spring water over to here. Whoa, 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 I'm going crazy. Okay, we're gonna pour it on this, uh, or get frozen by it somehow. Uh, any ice that you touch in a Zelda game freezes you. I should know this by now. Yeah, <laughs> look at that thing. Look at the stupid wolf. It's like licking it. It's like a popsicle. Delicious. Get out of here. Yeah, that's how powerful the Goron Punch is. Look at that. And now you can fall in this hole, which might be seem insignificant to you, but it's actually another hot spring. So now you don't have to climb back up that wall every single time that you want to uh, get some hot spring water. And you will need it for certain things. For example, um, I believe... Let's see here. Uh, oh, there's a Goron, okay. Not a Goron. This, this, does that look anything like a Goron to you? It's a wolf. Okay, I believe it's this guy. This one here. No? Okay. Hey. Get out of here. There you go. Okay, so, uh, one of these snowballs. I know. Is it this one? I think it is. Yeah, it's this one. I'm pretty sure. Or not. Maybe it's... Oh yeah, it's the big one. Duh. There you go. It has a random frozen Goron inside there. What the hell's... Oh. Okay. I'll look... I'm running low on life now. Thank you, Mr. Goron, for freezing me. I love you. Okay. Hello. Huh? What was I doing? Ah, it's already this late. I must hurry. What? Mm hmm? Oh, you're Darmani. But you're supposed to be dead. Am I hallucinating? Well, you very well could be. You were just kind of entombed in ice for God knows how long. Maybe this is also the doing of Snowhead's magic power. Hmm, I've made, I've made a fool of. But that's impossible. I refuse to flinch. If I can think of past the illusion, you'll vanish in an instant. What? My son is crying because he misses me? I didn't say that, but maybe you can probably hear him from here. Oh, God. Why do you know that? Because I was over there recently. How else would I know? My son misses me. Oh, forgive me, child. Your father has work to do. Darmani, be, be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination, I no longer care. Yeah, as you shouldn't, because your son is just in need and that's all you should care about. I f if you feel pity for my crying son, then please quietly sing to my son to sleep with the song I'm about to play on my drum. It's the very same melody that often plays for that I often played for you when you were young. Cool. Oh, look at that cute little tiny bongo drum. Even though it's like an old Goron, it's like still cute kind of in a sense. Huh? Let me play it once more. Oh, he can't remember it, can he? How's the song go? Um Come on, you gotta remember. Ah, yes, yes, like this. It's no good. I can't remember. I can remember only the beginning. I'll just teach you the beginning. Okay, so just repeat the same two chords over. Okay. And th with this, we will learn... Oh, look! Bongo drums! Booyah! Let's just go crazy and jam out. Like Donkey Konga. Nah. Okay. And, like, you're playing way too many notes. That can't just be six. Look, at him. he's just going crazy like that. God. We learned the lullaby intro. There we go. 
He's just having a jam session. Look at him. He's just straight up balling out. Yeah, you learned the lullaby intro and see the melody of a thoughtful father. How sweet. God, I love the character development in this game. It's not that I forgot. It's just so cold that I can't play very well. At any rate, I'm counting on you. Alright. Oh, dude, I feel kind of bad just leaving him here to essentially die. I don't know what's going to happen to him. But let's just head out back to the Goron village. Okay. Uh, 10 minutes, 30 seconds. We're doing pretty good here. On time. Okay, now let's talk to this guy. See what he has. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business with a focus on Goron clientele. And that, sir, makes you a customer. Really? I'm a Goron? Who knew? Right now, I've got a special trade-in offer just for you. I'll give you my biggest bomb bag, regularly priced at 1,000 rupees. In return, you'll give me your big bomb bag and just 200 rupees. Do you need any? Uh, yeah, sure. I have money to spare. There we go. Biggest bomb bag. 40 bombs. There you go. And that's exactly why I didn't want to give him the Swampland title deed just yet, so I could buy that. And there we go. We can open this now by ourselves. Thank you. Thanks to our awesome ground pounding abilities. And now, hopefully, we can get this stupid baby to just shut its trap. Come on. Come on. Here you go. Here you go. You want this? Ha. There you go. Now, just shut up, you stupid baby. I don't want to hear you crying anymore. I don't care if you are, like, cute. Just for a go on. That song. That song Daddy always plays. That's the song Daddy always plays me before I go to sleep. I'll sing the next part. And now he's just perfectly happy. Look at that. That. I never thought I would see this sight in my life. Just like a little baby Goron singing in front of what looks like a sun shrine or something. There you go. That's the rest of the song. He just. The, uh, the, his daddy just forgot two notes, looks like. And. You played the Goron lullaby. And. Ooh. Aww. This is kind of another touching cutscene. Aww. Yeah, look at that. It's so adorable. God, I love this game so much. Because it's like you're actually being like a hero and saving all these different people. It's so great. It's such a good feeling. Hmm. It's just like daddy's right beside me. And he falls into a deep slumber. How cute. And Link just gives a great sigh of relief. The lullaby intro became the Goron lullaby. This lullaby blankets listeners in, to cal in calm while making eyelids grow heavy. Oh, whoa. The other ones fell asleep too. Wow, look at that. Okay, and now it looks like uh, these lanterns here are lit. That is a little interesting. Um, do I have time for this? I'm gonna try it. Let's see here. Uh, grab a Deku stick. Okay, and you want to take a Deku stick, light it on fire, light it on fire. Woohoo! Oh, I should probably get my. I'm gonna get my bunny ears out here so I can do this a little bit quicker. Run, Link, run! Light the torch. Light the other torch. And keep on running down. Just keep on lighting all these torches. And eventually you will light all of them, obviously. Okay, come on. There you go. Yeah, you light all of them eventually, because it's not like there's unlimited torches or anything. Okay, is this the last few of them? There we go. And that causes the great chandelier up there to light on fire and burst into life and that's great maybe now with all that less fire around it'll be a little warmer inside not much but a little bit and we get to do something with this whoa that's an awesome ceiling I never noticed that but yeah we get to do something with the chandelier next time in the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask thank you everyone for watching until next time this is Argon Matrix signing out thank you and good night